Hey folks, today we are going to discuss a result paper, Fast and Folding Your Community in a Large Network, which has been presented by Vincent, Jean, Renaud, and ETM. So it's an interesting paper, uh, which discusses an interesting problem, which is of communities. So before we are going to discuss the research paper, we need to know what do we actually mean by communities. So let me just open the summary. So, um, you might be familiar about the term clustering. So what clustering does is it segment a group of information into relevant buckets, but it is only a one level of hierarchy. What if we have further clusters in particular segment? That's where community is community picture. So instead of identifying a first level cluster, they identify second level, third level, as many level as they can go on. So let me give an example. Think about a Facebook. So in a Facebook, you have a community of people living in the US, people living in India, people living in France and other countries. That's a first level community. What and then there are sub communities like in US, there are local communities like people living in New York and people living in other cities like San Francisco. So what does it mean is the people of US interact with each other more than the people outside the country. And within that community, there are sub communities which interact with more with each other, like San Francisco people will interact with more with each other rather than New York people. And there would be a, you know, very new link, new links between those communities. So, that's the kind of problem we are dealing with. And normal clustering method do not perform well in this kind of problem. The closest we have is a hierarchical clustering, which gives a hierarchy of clusters. But uh, the quality of clusters can be questioned and time that it takes to compute those clusters is just enormous. Uh, it exponentially scale as the number of complexity increases. So if the number of nodes increases from few thousand to few millions, the time it's going to take is just going to increase in an exponential fashion. So it's not a fast way to deal with such kind of problem. So that's what the paper is all about. Presenting an approach, deal with that, that kind of situations and finding communities from that large network. So they have presented some case studies like they were able to identify communities from a mobile network of 2.6 million customers. And they are able to extract information from a web graph containing 118 million nodes and more than 1 billion links. So think about finding a links which are more common to each other. It means they're the local community of links and the sub community of links and further going on. And the third one is the 180 million nodes. Now, the third one is interesting. They said they are able to process such a huge quantity of data in 152 minutes, which is phenomenal, really phenomenal. From the perspective of hierarchical clustering, it will take days or months to complete that kind of a result. So now uh, let's dive into the problem, the algorithm that uh, they have presented. So they have presented a simple algorithm. Uh, so it's like how they are able to find the community. They are using the concept of modularity to find the, com the communities. So modularity can be think as a value whose range lie between minus one and one. So one is good, minus one is bad. It means they're less Correlated. So suppose if you're comparing two nodes, AI and AJ, or communities. Uh, so one is means they are highly interlinked, and minus one means they are not that much interlinked. So that's what uh, modularity is all about. So uh, earlier pa earlier papers used this approach of modularity. They had tweaked the function a little bit to make it fast compute. So the whole algorithm com consists of two phases. Let me discuss them. The first phase is identify communities, and the second phase is uh, merging those communities nodes into a single community. So let's dive into the problem. So first phase comprises of, uh, in the first run, we'll just assign each node as a separate community. And then we are going to consider uh, two communities and we are take node from each community and we'll see what happens if we just move a node i from its current community to the neighbor community. 
So we are going to evaluate is there any modularity gain by doing that by removing one node from one community to another. And if yes, there's a gain, we are going to find the community in which it is getting maximum gain. So if the gain, gain is maximum in the community, which is just going to place the node I from that community to that community. So now the second community will have more than one nodes. And this process is repeat, repeated again and again, again and again, 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 till we achieve a convergence for the phase one. And that's how the phase one is completed. So and one thing to note, if the modularity change in modularity is zero less than uh, zero, we are not going to move that node from its community to the other community. They will stay in the community. So this process will be repeated for each and every node and they will be compute against enormous amount of community. So this is compute intensive, but that's the only part which is compute intensive as a node. So first phase consists of this steps. And second phase, phase what we do is we'll merge nodes belonging to community into one community. So suppose if a community has now more than one node, like five nodes, we are going to merge five nodes into a single node. So now the communities will become the node in this phase. And uh, how we are going to adjust weights between different communities is like, uh, we are going to say, suppose if you are considering community I and community J, then weights of community I to community J will be some of the all the weights of the individual nodes from community I, which are linked with nodes in community J. And uh, then the interlink between uh, the nodes in community I with each other will, will form as a self loop. So like this. So if there are in nodes which are interacting with each other, it will just sum the node and it will form a self loop. So that's, uh, that's the phase one. I didn't find different nodes beyond the community. And then this is the phase two, merging node, those nodes in a single node. Now this is pass one. The algorithm will repeat itself in a pass two and uh, and pass three and pass four till we achieve a result in which we can say the algorithm has reached a convergence rate. And there's no more modularity gain by removing one node from each other. Like here, uh, it has formed a two community from out of this many nodes. So the first pass consists of identifying four communities out of these many nodes and second pass com consists of identifying two communities. So you can notice that it form a hierarchical structure, like this is the mega community. And from the mega community, you can say the, some of the, these are the sub communities and some sub communities you can discuss, these are the sub communities of these sub communities. So two way hierarchical structure. Again, uh, this is a graph which is showing that uh, this is a vast network, first of all. And uh, if you zoom out into a particular community, uh, you'll find many sub communities with each other. So now let's dive the concept of modularity. What do you mean by modularity here and how we calculate that? So, again, as this is a scale. So, what's happening here is uh, changes modularity is computed as delta Q. And this is a formula for that. We'll just place the value. I'm going to discuss what the feature means. It's like summation i n is the sum of the weights of the links inside the communities. That's the picture. Like here's a self loop coming picture. And that's the weight, like 14 is the weight here. And some of the some of the weights of the links incident to nodes C, that's a total means total weight of the network. Like 26 plus 24 is 50. That's the total weight of the network, which is the weight of the links and ki is some of the weights of links inside incident to node i means suppose if this is a node i what is the weight like one plus four plus one so all the weights are linked to its sum is six and ki in some of the weights of the links from node i to node c the other weights suppose if we are considering this how many weights are passing from this to this and m is also weight of the, all the links inside the network again the Links of all the links in the network. The one thing for sure is uh, submission total is actually uh, the link inside the community, not the total link. So 
yeah that's the algorithm um, that's how they calculated that they compared it with other algorithms and find out they were outperforming in compute way if they cannot just compute the quality of the nodes that they have formed they did in the first uh, level of community but not just deep down so or it's an interesting paper as it dives into interesting problems of communities and present a way to compute uh, sub communities in a much faster way so yeah that's it for now okay guys all right